returning volunteers, Lars, Jay Brand, and Maggie, Maggie Jones, on the last lap of their marvelous world tour of love and giving. Paris on Friday, then Rome. And today we welcome them here at Cypress Grove, British headquarters for the Cypress Fund. She's landing now, straight from their fantastic success in New York, where pledges for the Africa earthquake aid amounted to over $5 million. $5 million, volunteers. That's over 2 million pounds. 2 million pounds of love and giving. Friends, friends, we give. We give. What about taking? What's the matter with you? We give time. We give time. Come on, let us go in. Come on. Oh, everybody's got their racket. He's human too. What do you mean? Tell me. I'll tell you. Oh, I'll tell you all right. Give. Give time. Give money. Give love. an accident, Mr. Strange. I don't know how it happened. I just had it in the mic. The next minute he was dead. But it wasn't an accident. Maggie, there's been an inquest and the verdict was accidental death. But coroners can be bought just like other people. Bought? They killed him, Mr. Strange. Lars and that whole self-righteous gang of his, they murdered Jay. Oh, Maggie. You think I'm crazy, don't you? But I'm not. They killed him. But why should they? For what possible reason? Jay knew something about a racket that they were all involved in. And now he's dead and I'm going to be next to think I know. Maggie, love. Don't me. Maggie love me, please, Mr. Strange. I'm not the little shoplifter you helped five years ago. I know what I'm talking about and I'm scared. Come on, come and sit down. Come on, come. Get a drink. You still think I'm next up, don't you? No, don't think anything of the sort. I'm afraid. 
afraid. It's going to be all right. Now, tell me about this racket. Jay wasn't clear. He always kept everything to himself. He didn't say much. But he knew something. Ever since New York, I could tell it was he was upset about something. And now they're on to it. They keep phoning me. What do they say? Well, they say, come back to Cypress Grove. We need you now. But I'm not going back. Not tomorrow for the funeral. Not ever. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Hello, you chaps. Meet the new Happy Fizz girl. Evelyn. Hello. Uh, Evelyn McLean, Maggie Jones. I know. It's marvellous to meet you. Uh, Evelyn is one of your absolutely maddest admirers, aren't you? Yes, you bet. <laughs> Can't see why. Oh, don't be silly. Are you doing anything tonight? No. Well, uh, you wouldn't mind taking Maggie home and staying the night with her, would you? No, of course not. not. Would you? Well, I'd be delighted to. I could do with some company. <laughs> well, listen, I only live across the hall, so... Well, if you're ready, I'll just go and get my shoes on. Come on, you give me that and give your nose a blow. Big blow. All right, that's it. Come on now, you go with Evelyn. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. Oh, go on with it. Now, you go home and make some coffee and a great bowl of scrambled eggs. Right. <laughs> right. I'll come round later and see how things are. OK. Bye. Goodbye. I don't know, I... Go on, what are you thinking? Well, Lars isn't exactly a gangster. I mean, the Cypress Grove, that's practically a religion. I mean, I've given to it myself for Pete's sake. Yes, I know. It sounds absurd. But that little girl isn't quite what she seems to be. To go from extreme nothing to extreme everything in one jump, as she's done, it could throw anyone. But she's not been thrown. She's got her head well screwed on. The verdict was accidental electrocution. I know, I know. But all the same. Wow! Whoa. It's bigger than my place, that's for sure. Our agent found it, said it had class. We liked it anyway. It's super. That's nice. That's Jay's least favorite photograph. Oh. He used to say, put it in a cupboard, Mag, burn it, send it to the tax man, sign it with love and kisses and thanks a lot. <laughs> but I was stubborn. I still am. How did you meet? Oh, very wholesome at a youth club. Except with us, it was all um, fire and gunpowder and a shooting star or two. <laughs> Poor Jay. He really cared about the world. He was always fighting some lost cause or another. It's more than most people do. Only it killed him, didn't it? Evelyn, thanks for coming. Oh, don't be silly. Let me show you a room. Right. <laughs> Shall I answer it? Please. Hello? Is Maggie Jones there, please? Who is it? Tell her it's Pato. Edward Pato. It's Edward Pato. Hang up. Hang up! Hello. 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 Come on, come and sit down. I'll make us some coffee, all right? Incorrect wiring at the terminal here, making the guitar earth. So that uh, when Brian touched the metal parts here and was holding the microphone with his other hand, his body acted like a live wire and completed the circuit. He took full charge and that was it. Um, incorrect wiring. You see, wires on these continental guitars are very easy to confuse. They, they have a different color scheme from here in England. So your conclusion? My conclusion? Well, the same as the coroner's. A mistake, a, a careless mistake. Or a careful one. Thank you very much, Sergeant. Come on, then.
No, you stay here, Hammy. Why? Don't want to see you separated from all your money. Criminologists and criminology, fascinating. And then, of course, you and I fight the same enemy, don't we? I don't know, do we? Evil. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. to be sure, evil. Yes, and somehow, death seems to be under evil's orders. And the good die young, like Jay. Jay Brand. I have heard that you have been inquiring about him, about what happened here. Yes, yes, I have. And now you have come to me. Were you a friend of his? I'm a friend of Maggie Jones. Maggie? Yes, Maggie and Jay. I owe both of them everything. I, I was just a, an itinerant do-gooder, one of the newspapers coined it before they joined the movement. But with their names and traveling with me all around the world, they have made this organization into what it is now. But Maggie's upset, isn't she? She's frightened of me, of us. Suddenly. Yes. Yes, she is. Why? I hoped you could tell me. We're ready to begin, Lars. All right, and you come, I shall come straight away. Well, goodbye, Mr. Strange. Goodbye. By the way, do you know if Maggie intends to come tomorrow? I realize it will be hard for her, but he did ask to be buried here, and of course we must comply. She says not. Well, perhaps you could persuade her to change her mind, hmm? Somebody should. I say. Well, how is she? Asleep, finally. What about you? Oh, I can't sleep. I've been watching the telly and looking at their photos of their trip to New York. Brother, fancy living in a place like this. Mm. Do you want a grape? Yeah, it'd be nice. Any more of those phone calls? No. Nope. As a matter of fact, there have been no phone calls. It's funny. What's funny? Oh, a girl as famous as that, a celebrity. And nobody bothers to ring up and find out how she is at a time like this. Never become a celebrity. Best advice you'll ever get from me. Well, it may be difficult. I want you to do something. What? I want you to talk to her in the morning. What about? About the funeral. Listen, I will not be able to convince her that she should go. Anyway, why should she go? Very good reason. I need to go with her. You really are a, a cold-blooded... Monster. Right. Yes, I know. And I dote on you. Jay Brand is gone from us, and we are gathered here to bid him a fond goodbye and rest eternal. Here in these grounds, which his goodwill has nourished, beneath this sweet green grass, which he never knew as a child, but which later he watered with his tears for the unfortunate and the needy, J. Brand wept for the world. And J. Brand gave to the world. And J. Brand sang to the world, but always, Always J. Brand gave to the world, and I promise you that what he gave, and what he continues to give even now through us, 
through the money that he left to us, willed to us. I promise you it will not be wasted, but will be well Did spent you know anything about this, Jay's will? New projects yeah. worthy of his memory. We will meet in the assembly hall for meditation at 11. Would you like to come, Maggie? No! Take her back to London, Evelyn. Get her to bed and give her a sedative. What are you going to do? Me? I'm going to do a bit of meditating. What? On the finances round here. I'll tell you what, I'll note to the chemist and get you something to calm you down. I won't be five minutes, OK? Did you hear about Brant's will on the radio? No, what? What do you think he left? I don't know, a hundred thousand? Nah, double it. Oh! Hey, where you been, sightseeing? Yeah, I got a few shots of the organization's computer cards. And they're coded in what appear to be runes, runic characters, Scandinavian, I should think, but you could check me on that. Strange speaking. I've been trying to get you for the past 20 minutes. Come over to Maggie's, quick. Well, what's the matter? She's disappeared. I'll be right over. What happened? Maggie's disappeared. Uh, develop that for me, will you? I'll be in touch later. I just don't understand it. I went out to the chemist. I couldn't have been more than 15 minutes. Is that her bag? Yes. Was it lying here when you left? Yes, the same place. Everything's exactly the same. Yeah. Doesn't seem to have been tampered with. There's more than 40 pounds in it. No, wait a minute. All this is different. This photo was here. And the album's gone. Well, the album you were looking at last night? Yeah, it was there. Oh, it's spooky. Was there anything um, unusual about those photos? No, not that I can remember. Mm -hmm. It was their trip to New York, pictures of Maggie and Jay and, and, and some others. Um, Snaps of the Statue of Liberty and Times Square and so on? Nothing else? No, not that I can remember. Look, um, could you reproduce any of them for me? What? I mean, um, could you make sketches of any of them that you can remember? Could be very important. 
Well, I could, yes, but... Good. You go home and start to work and think. See, think hard. And we'll dig into the funds and make it a um, pound a picture. Will that suit you? Oh, a lot of them, were there? As a matter of fact, there were hundreds, yes. <laughs> Wealthy girl. Go on, off you go. Okay, I'll go get my bag. Where are you going to go? I'm going to Scotland Yard. I hope she's all right. No. I'm sorry, Strange. I can do no more than make a routine inquiry as for a missing person. I didn't say a missing person. I said a strong possibility of kidnapping. Ki oh, yes, kidnapping. Yeah, some ornaments out of place. A missing book of snaps. Oh, Strange. Besides, there's nothing from what you've told me that links this missing girl with Lars and his organisation. Look, Morel, I don't come in here with false alarm bells ringing, do I? No. No, good. Well, then I'm not doing it this time. I think that the girl has been kidnapped. More than a possibility. I think that young Jay Brandt was onto some racket. More than a possibility. Have you got any tobacco? What racket? Well, I don't know. But money comes in for charity. It doesn't always go out for charity. It's been known to happen. Yes, not with the Cyprus Fund. No. No, strange. Why not the Cyprus Fund? Do you know something about it that I don't? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Yeah. Well, I should, thanks to my daughter. And I might add, her mother. Have they been giving? Yes, they've been giving right enough. <laughs> do you know they've started planting blasted cypress trees in my garden? Oh, they give all right. No, I'm afraid you're on the wrong track here, Strange. You see, the Cypress Fund is one of the few organisations that keeps a tight rein on its monies. It uses no middleman, does its own collecting, advertising, buying, shipping, well, you name it. No waste, as they say in those little brochures of theirs. And no interference. Do they print that too? Do you have any proof? No. No. But you intend to get it. Yes. Yeah. And when I get it, I'm going to throw it right on your desk here. I have a hunch and here I come. Bang. You know, you're a lucky devil. No official shackles. No endless do's or don'ts. Especially the don'ts. How would you like to trade places with me? No, thank you. I spent eight years in this chair of yours, Chief Inspector. That's quite enough for me. I'm sorry, Strange, but you know, there are times when I would like to break all the rules, but I can't. I can't afford it. I think you should afford some better tobacco. You'll do yourself an injury. <sighs> How's it going? Okay, but I don't know if you're going to be able to get anything from any of these. Uh, there's a church with sort of skyscrapers on the other side. It's Wall Street, Trinity Church. Really? Yeah. Well, it's not bad, then. It's very good. <laughs> this was Maggie at Times Square. Yeah. That doesn't tell us much, does it? Um, this were two of the disciples here on a sort of ferry. Oh, a ferry. Going where? Where are you going to, ferry boat, eh? Yeah, this was a sort of dockyard place. What are those, crates? Yeah, yes, yeah. And those funny squiggles at the back? Don't be rude. What, here? Yeah. Well, it was sort of lettering, and a name of some sort. What name? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, either. And then Maggie was sort of here, like this, in the foreground. Mm -hmm. And um, there were two blokes here. Standing. Disciples? Oh, again, I, I can't remember. I don't know. I'm sorry to be so hopeless. It's all right. You're doing fine. Ham! He's gone out. Oh? He said... A, to give you these, that you were right, they are runes. Oh, that's great. And he suggested that you got onto his friend here, Bill Tanner, at the museum. Yeah. He may be able to decipher them for you. Good. And B? He went to find Maggie. No. Well, I, I said I didn't think it was a very good oh, idea. Oh, the fool. The mutton-headed Minnesota fool. New recruits, this way, please. student in England on your vacation. Correct. You see? Oh, thank you. What made you decide to join us, Mr. Williams? Well, I'd like to help, not waste a vacation like all the other blank-faced tourists visiting London. I see. Well, I'm sure that we can expect great things from you, Mr. Williams. Uh, would you go through that covered way, through the door facing you? They'll allocate you your duties. 
Oh, Mr. Williams. Welcome to the fold. Come in, Mr. Kim. And sit down. Well, Mr. Tanner, room's all right. Here, if not here. And here? Ordinary code. Well, not quite ordinary. Beulific, it's called. Like runes, but uh, trickily not runes. Can you read it? Not on the spot, no. Uh, this is obviously a date mark. And this, mm -hmm. the eight letters following the colon, could easily be an address. Destination. Pakistan, maybe, or um, Ethiopia. Does that have eight? Yes, it's got eight. And these are runes here? Mm -hmm. And here, two lines of eight again. Take me a couple of days to decode these. Well, I want them in two minutes. Get through all this gibberish. It makes no sense to me. Not on first glance, it doesn't. You see, the runic alphabet has 16 letters. How am I going to make any sense out of this? I'm not quite with you. They use only 10 here. See? Mm -hmm. This, 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 and 10. Gibberish. That's marvellous. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're a great chap. Look, my name is Williams, Ernest Williams. It is no use denying it, Mr. Gint. We know you are not here with a legitimate purpose. Look, Hamlin Gint, born in Duluth, Minnesota, educated at Northwestern University and Columbia University, the College of Physicians and Surgeons. Came to England six years ago, Rhodes Scholar. Transferred from pathology to archaeology to a side interest in criminology. Works with Adam Strange. Mr. Gint. What is it, exactly, that you are interested in here? You sneak into our compound, you adopt a false name. Why? We have nothing to hide from you. What is it that you are hiding from us? Yesterday, Mr. Strange came, and I took time off from a very busy schedule to talk to him. Now today, you. Why? Why? Busy minutes. Invaluable time wasted. Why, well, I don't understand this, Mr. Gint. Now, I must ask you to leave. And please, don't come back. All right. Before I go, can I ask you one question? What is it? Is Maggie here in Cypress Grove? Pato, you show him out, please. Thank you. Hey, this is in the way, yeah. Uh, out. You asked about Maggie Jones. Come on. Get in. illegal, Strange. No, they're not illegal, but they can be used illegally. Now, there are 16 characters in the runic alphabet. Yeah. They're only using 10 of them. They're obviously numeral substitutes. From 1 to 1 and 0, 10. Mm. Now, you take those in conjunction with this beulific code here, listing place names, and you consider the scale of this organization, the worldwide distribution of goods for the needy, and you begin to wonder how much goods the needy are really getting. This amount, Crate load first line, or this amount here, crate load second line. Yeah. And we assume that they're shipping their crates in kilos, right? Right. All right, well, you decipher these eight characters and you get a crate load of, what, 10 million kilos. That's pretty heavy. Yeah, all right, but you take take away the even numbers here. There, 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 you see? Or the odd numbers there. There, there, there. They're phonies, just put into confuse. And you get a total of 1,000 kilos, or two, or three. It's not so heavy, is it? No, it isn't, is it? You know, I like this. Yes. 
Yes, of course. That's what they could be doing, couldn't they? Just siphoning off the goods. One tin of cooking oil for the needy, two tins of cooking oil for the boys to cook with. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, you suspect and I suspect, but I need more than suspicion in a bunch of coded computer cars. Just show me something strange. What can I show you? Look, anything. Where, where they're storing the stuff. Can you do that? I'll try. Yeah, fine. Fine, you do that and I'll, I'll tear up Cypress Grove by the roots. And all the little cypress trees as well. Including the ones in my garden. Who was it, Pedo, Maggie? I don't know. I couldn't see. I tried to tell him, but he's Griffin and, and that ether or whatever it is. Well, can't say we weren't warned. You thought they knew. Did you believe me? What, truthfully, at that moment? At that moment. No. We're stuck here, aren't we? Manner of speaking. Maggie Jones hits the dungeon. What about me? No free plug for Ham? Oh, Ham tries to rescue her. But then... He'd better rescue the both of us. But he can't. Maggie Jones of little faith. Hey, are you hungry? No. Neither am I. Let's eat. Did you ever have spaghetti at tea time without the tea? Old Italian custom, I don't know. Neapolitan. I was stuck in this dungeon once. After fighting my way through the guards, to get to the royal princess in the palace, I was stuck with her in this dungeon. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Sophia. Sophia something. She was Italian. Oh. -ho. Uh. I'll be back in a second. No exit? Not on the first try. What did you do to this can? Try to open it. Yeah, let me try. Spaghetti. You know where they do it up brown? Muritzellas in Soho. I'll take you there tomorrow. Tomorrow? Hello, tonight. When Strange finds out about this, he'll come charging in here like a ton of bricks. Do you really think he will come? I know so. What would he do without me? <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> Listen, Evelyn, I want you to rig up my projector. Oh, no, without that, huh. no, I'm not kidding. We're going to look at some film. All Thanks. Right. That's all right. This hunch of yours pays off. We're back in business. No. No, there's no word yet. No, but don't worry. Fine, fine. Where are you off to, Morel? Yeah, well, I thought back to the yard. No, don't. I want you to follow through on these disciples. I want a complete rundown on exactly who they are and exactly what they do. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Listen to me. I told you I'd sat in that chair of yours too long. <laughs> Much too long. I'll follow through. All right. It's not bad. Delicious. They were about to send me away, and then there was this terrible meeting between my parents and the magistrate. And sitting there, all alone, to one side of the room, there was this man. He didn't have a beard then. What do you know? And at the end of the meeting, he got out of his chair, and the magistrate introduced him. 
And Mr. Strange persuaded the magistrate to give me a chance and me to give myself one. I think I'll take another look. Lars want to leave. At half past six. Is this the money? Yes, it'll be in here. Newcomb, what about Maggie and the American? I'll take care of them after you both leave. But there'll be an investigation. Of an accident, yes. A cliff, car over the edge, a fiery explosion, the remains of two bodies. Of course, there'll be an investigation near Torquay. Torquay, all right? I think you better go. A tout à l'heure. Now. That's it. Look. What is? How they do it? Look here. Look at that crate. Now, according to the computer cards, that crate has got to be a metric ton, a thousand kilos at least. Now, since when have eight men been able to lift a thousand kilos? Oh but don't you see the thing's three quarters empty? It's been siphoned off. So much for the relief fund, and so, so much, much for, for Lars. Well, exactly. Yes, but listen, they'd weigh the crates as they came off the boat. Well, and look, a gift horse in the mouth. This is relief, darling. Come on now, let's have a look. What can we get out of it? There's the crate, there's the warehouse. Your warehouse, the, the drawing of yours, the dockyard sketch in New York. The one with the docks and the crates and all those things. Yes, come on, Alvin. No, that's not the same. Times Square, Wall Street, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Don't hear me off. Now then. Now then. These, these squiggles at the back here, mm. could any of them have been the word warehouse? No. Are you sure? Yes. Now, look, concentrate. Two long ones and then a little one, right? Yes. And... And, and, and the little and, one and was... And the little one was... Was, was for... C.O. and company, that was it. Now, concentrate now. These, these long ones, they're names. Yeah, it was Must an, be. Yes, it was a name. All right, what? What names, Edie? Um... Think. Think, think, oh, think, think. Oh, you remember. can, you can, you can. Okay. What's the name what? of an American president? Oh, no, an American president. I can't think of one. Uh, uh, Roosevelt. No. Uh... Washington, no. Adams, no. Buchanan, no. Polk, eh? Polk, Polk. What? Polk, Polk, was that it? No, I mean, I've never heard of Polk. Oh, you mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Look, give me some yeah, more. Uh, Jefferson. Uh, no. Uh, Taft. No. Harding. No. Hoover. No. I'm, right, I'm running out now. Uh, oh, Lincoln. Uh, Grant. Gr Grant, Waterman and Company, that was it. <laughs> Marvellous, Grant Waterman. Come on, let's get that. I know they're in the front book. At least they ought to be. I see their name often enough. Waterman, W. W. I oh, get that, would you? Yeah. Waterman, Waterman, Waterman. Here they are. Waterman, around 32, Elizabeth. Come in, Morel. Hello, Strange. How'd you get on with that list of disciples? Oh, fine. Look, there are two that we should concentrate on. It's yeah. Ronald Pater accounts and Peter Newcomb assembling and shipping. Well done. Now then, you wanted me to show you where they keep the stuff. Yes. Well, I'm going to do that. We're off to Wapping. Oh, and you, Evie, yeah. bone up on President Polk. Polk. Help you? Just gonna have a look around. Now, wait a second now. Hey, are you got a warrant to search? Proof enough? Yes. Next stop, Cypress Grove.
We're ready for Paris lives. Yes. Should be a great rally. Yeah. Both of you have worked very hard for it. Thank Pato. Oh, I do thank him. And I'm sorry, Newcomb, that you can't come, and the others. We have enough to do here for now. I'll see you in a minute, Lars. Will it work? It'll work. And I notify the police. As soon as you land. They must examine this at the airport. It's locked. Do you realize how much money there is in there? But the key. It's in his pocket. What's the matter? Nothing. Nervous? <laughs> A bit natural. Look, if anything goes wrong, I will be blamed. I've told you, it won't. Is anyone really going to believe that, that he... he absconded with the money, smuggled it out? Why not? The Cyprus Fund is under suspicion. Through no fault of Lars. Lars is the Cyprus Fund. Now look, once this is over, you can go back to your computers, to your comfortable life with your room full of gadgets. And you? Somebody must be left to pick up the pieces, to reorganize the movement. Don't worry, please, don't worry. Have a good trip. Moran, this is Alpha Foxtrot. Request the weather report, over. Wind, 210 knots. Weather in Paris, clear. Find it. It's just left with Lars. Where for? Paris. Well, how? Car? Plane? By helicopter. Where's assembly and shipping? Newcomb? Yeah. You'll find him in administration. Take the wheel. in the workroom. It's crazy. There's no bomb. There's only okay. papers in there. I'll open it up. I'll show you. You just stay where you are. I saw him put it in here. The gel ignite, the uh, timing device. I could have sworn it was this case. He's crazy! Right, where's the bomb, Newcomb? What have you done with it? There's no bomb. It's got to be somewhere. I mean, he and Peter were going to kill us. An accident near Torquay. A fiery explosion, no remains, no evidence. All right, search the car. Hold it. Don't fool around, Newcomb. We haven't got time. Nor have you, if you know what's good for you. Now, can we contact that helicopter? I'm asking you, Newcomb, look at me. Can we contact the helicopter? Yes. Strange here, Adam Strange. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Come in, please. I hear you loud and clear. Listen, Lars, you're in trouble. You've got a bomb on board that crate of yours. A <laughs> bomb? <laughs> Nonsense. I am deadly earnest. Look for it. It should be in a black attache case. A black 
Attache case. Have you got it? Yes, we have it. Chuck it over. Get rid of it. It's a bomb. It's not a bomb. Why don't you open it? You have the key. Come on, Newcomb, you tell him. Tell him it's a bomb. Go on. It's a bomb, all right. Throw it out. Newcomb, what have you done? It's time to go off in three minutes. No! No! Let's hang it! No! No! Strange! Strange! We are over London! Houses, people! But we can't take the bomb! We can't risk it! We cannot wait! Let's run out! out. Alert all Where are you? Cars and fire brigades. Give us your position! We are over London somewhere! We must maintain height! There are houses everywhere! If we crash! Right, he's over Fulham. Lars, yeah. listen, you're well, over Fulham. Well, do what you can. Get the ambulances out. You must be able to see the Thames down there to the south of you. Head for the Thames, man. Ditch it in the Thames. I'm over the Thames now, Strange. Ditch it. Get rid of it. Too dangerous. Too many boats. Now, I must go lower. Chuck it out of the plane. It's a matter of seconds. <laughs>